Hey guys, Epic Man here. Today I'm going to be doing a deck profile, which obviously you can tell right away it's different than past deck profiles I've done. This one is for Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duels. Since, you know, since I'm actually really interested in that game, it's actually kind of fun in my opinion. But I know a lot of people don't like it. It's iffy to them, yada yada, blah blah. But personally, I like the game. And I was tinkering with some cards and skills. <laughs> playtesting it against other speed duel decks that I have <laughs> and I came along with this thing this deck that I made so I thought I'd make a speed duel deck profile for you guys so starting off with the skill I use Andrew here which is low blow which is once per duel uh, target one monster on the field and make it lose 500 attack and defense until the end of this turn. So, <laughs> and of course it can only be used once per duel. So as you're, you know, a way to end the game quickly or, you know, either use that to end the game or to help speed it along. Then for the monsters... This deck runs 30 cards, by the way. So for the monsters, I run three Cyber Dragons. <clears throat> you pretty much always go into this card from the past few duels that I've done with this. Basically, this deck is pretty much a go second deck. That way, your opponent will summon a monster, guaranteeing you get to special summon Cyber Dragon. So you get a free monster with 2100 attack points. Next, I run three... Breaker the Magical Warrior. I honestly wish I can get a third one in Secret Rare, which I might get one next payday to, you know, bling out the monster. <laughs> but he's really good because I also noticed while I was dueling with these, this Speed Duel deck that these two are a go-to of that pretty much always happens where I'll be able to special summon Cyber Dragon and then summon Breaker. Because then I can use Breaker's effect. When he's summoned, he gains a counter. Then you can take the counter off of him to pop a back row card. <laughs> or spell trap. Then continuing on the monsters, that was all the three of. Now the two of, I run two. This is essentially the quote-unquote boss monster of the deck. I run two Mahavilo. Mahavilo, however you pronounce it. Uh, he's always... I classify him as the boss monster because all the cards, or the spells rather, and traps pretty much synergize with him being equipped cards, thereby powering him up. And he can get really powerful as the duel goes on. Next for the monsters, I run two copies of Knight Assailant. Just, you know, as a means of setting him face down, your opponent will attack, potentially, and he'll flip up. And destroy a monster on their field. Although now that they have Drillroid in speed duels. Drillroid will just destroy it. If it's in defense position. That and Sasuke Samurai I think is also in speed duels. Regardless. He's just there for helping pop your opponent's monsters. Then more defensive cards. I run two copies of Sphere Karibo. Pretty much, you know, self-explanatory. Your opponent attacks you. You can discard Sphere Kariba when that attacking monster gets switched to defense position. <laughs> then to round off the two ofs, I believe. I run two copies of Amazona Swordswoman. <laughs> Basically, the point of her, obviously, is your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken with battles involving her. So if you use the skill... To weaken her, because this can be done on your monsters too, although why would you, except on her, making her weaker, and if it were to attack into a really high attack monster, then you can deal a lot of damage to the opponent that way. Then I run one copy of Jinzo, basically him, you get a free summon with Cyber Dragon, and then basically you can go into a Jinzo for free, or if you already have a monster on your field from like last turn, you can go into him. But he's basically just in there for obvious reasons of locking down your opponent from traps. And then to round off the monsters, I run one uh, 
Dogoran, the Mad Flame Kaiju. Basically, if your opponent has a really powerful monster on their field, self-explanatory for Kaijus, tribute their monster to bring him out. That was the monsters. Now for the spells, I run two copies of Bashing Shield. Gives your monster equipped to 1,000 attack points. And you lose no battle damage from battles involving it. <laughs> it's really useful. Especially with, especially with Mahavilo. Two copies of Night Beam. You can destroy... Is it set or is it a spell trap? Target set. So it has to be set. But yeah, target a set spell trap on the field and destroy it. Your opponent cannot activate card activate that card in response to this, which is useful. Now the one ofs, I run one copy of United We Stand, which is useful for obvious, you know, have a lot of monsters on the field, equip it to Mahavelo or whatever you want. Increasing it by 800 per monster on your field. One Mage Power increases your monster by 500 points for every spell trap on the field. Fa well, oh yeah, that's face-up monster, not every monster. And that's any spell trap on your field. One Fairy Meteor Crush for piercing damage. One Hidden Armory, <laughs> which the drawback to that to this card is you cannot normal summon or set the turn you activate it, but you are able to still special summon, so... Your Cyber Dragon, you can still pull that off. And you get an equip card by discarding the top card of your deck. Thereby giving you an equip card for your Cyber Dragon. And, yeah. Next, I run one copy of Book of Moon, for obvious reasons. One Shrink. And that rounds off the spell cards. Now, finally, the Traps. I run one copy of Metal Morph. One copy of Kunai with Chain. And two copies of Wall of Disruption. Basically, these two... I might actually swap out Kunai with another Metal Morph, potentially. But this is good defensive-wise and helping to increase your monster's attack points. Basically, another Sphere Karibo, because if your opponent monster attacks, you can activate it and change their monster to defense position and also increase your monster's attack points. Metamorph is good because uh, it powers your monster up by 300 attack points, and if it attacks a monster, then it gains half the attack of that monster it's battling. And then Wall of Disruption is good because, if I'm correct, when your opponent's monster declares an attack, all attack position. Oh, yeah. So, if your opponent. So, say for instance, your opponent's able to get by your board and attack you, and you have this in your back row, or whatever. You can activate it, and if they have three monsters on their field, then their monster is losing a lot of attack po All of their monsters in attack position are losing 800 attack points for each monster on their field. So, in a grand total of 2,400 attack points? But yeah. Well, guys, that's essentially my speed duel deck. I don't really... As you can see, it's mostly just, you know, equip spells and stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, Epic Man... Out.